after that, I got into ABS-CBN. You know, they called me to host. Uh, I became a host of TFC. It's like the, the, the TV show for okay. foreign for okay. people in diaspora, like Filipinos mm -hmm. everywhere. You know. Mm. So yeah, I was asking, can you tell us about your career, about ABS-CBN, like how did you join the show as a foreigner, you know, and all that? Okay, so um, I finished school in uh, 2012. So after that, I stuck around for a few, a couple years, you know, mm -hmm. so I was finally going to move to um, Canada. And then a friend of mine from Norway was having a meeting with uh, a dude from GMA, mm. uh, the, the talent guy from mm. GMA. So, you know, we were in Starbucks and uh, I was just doing my thing. They were having a meeting and stuff. Mm. And um, Room, the guy was the guy's name was Room. So he called me. Mm. Was like, yo, you know, he wants to talk to you. And I was like, yo, what's up? He said, you know, there's this show on GMA Ipulaga and um, it's mm -hmm. called Foreign Oil, right? So mm -hmm. me, I don't like contests. I don't like all this competition thing, you know. <laughs> it's not my thing. So <clears throat> it was like, uh, you know what? You can be part of it and blah, 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 you know. Because Room was like, yeah, Bobby speaks Tagalog and he can sing in Tagalog and all that. Mm. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want to be part of that because I'm going to leave anyway. I'm, I'm about to. Mm. And he told me something he told me was like, you know, Igbo men like money, of course. And he told I me. I don't know. <laughs> he, told, he told me, you know, if you win, you make money. If you mm. lose, you also make money. So mm. you, know, you have nothing to lose, right? And mm. back then, it was like, if you win, you make, uh, I think that was 30K pesos. Mm. Mm. If you lose, you make half of it. Mm. So, like, what are, what am I supposed to do? But, I mean, it's just so easy. You just go there, you know, try to connect with the crowd and mm. with your talent, speak the mm. dialogue and all that. That's just it. Mm. I'm like, really? How long? Is it just all these things is just probably 30 minutes? Or? Okay, mm. 30 minutes is not, I mean, 15 grand is not, because I, I already had my mind, um, positioned on not winning so okay yeah so i was like okay 15 grand not bad so i went mm. there i didn't know how big the show was i went there um you know i performed i just i was going against a dude from australia aaron okay Nicholas. okay so okay. it was a tie you know yeah. I didn't know the show was really big. My phone was off the whole day. And then I went home. I was using a Samsung back in the day. And it was hanging. I'm like, okay. why is it hanging? You know, mm -hmm. I switched to my computer and I saw over 5,000 friend requests on my Facebook. <laughs> wow. And coming from, like, <laughs> my Facebook before, <laughs> you know, it wasn't that busy. You know, it was very private, yeah. like that. Yeah. And all of a sudden, like five thousand friend requests and like, oh, people like yeah. digging up my old photos and stuff like that, and just sharing and stuff like that. You know. Mm. So I went to the page. I saw how huge this TV stuff was, and after that. I went to the grand final, uh, not the grand finals, the weekly finals, because that was the daily yeah. round, right? Yeah. So, for me, I was just there for the money, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so, but when I started, like, seeing how these Filipino people were showing love. Love, yeah. Like, love, love. You know, they were, defend they even formed like a fan page and a you know, wow. dramatics and stuff like that, mm. you know. Man, these people were so cool. Old people, young people, like different age groups. Mm. So mm. yeah, I was uh on the weekly rounds, right? 
I yeah. was out of the show. Okay. You know, I lost. I lost the weekly round. Mm. And then I went on the page. Then I won, but I won the best in talent. So that was extra money, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made the money. I was feeling really good because I made, I think, everything uh, before I lost, I made a, about 100000 so, Yeah, cool. that was cool. I was, it was okay with me, you know? Yeah, and it then, was. Yeah. And then, like, when I was out, people noticed I was out from all over the world. People were commenting and writing the show, like, okay, Bobby's not there, we're not watching, and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Bobby deserves to be on the show and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So my friend called me, yo, go to the page and see what you're talking about, what mm -hmm. you're saying about you. So I went, I saw the comments and stuff. On my birthday, that was uh, April 19, I got a call from the, the show. They were like, Bobby, we need you back. You know, people wow. actually love you a lot, so they want you back. And mm. we were 45 contestants from different. I was the only Nigerian. I was the only black guy. There was a, wow. a, a, black, a mixed black guy from Hawaii, Jeff James. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but African, I was the only African dude on the show. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was just a simple guy. I mean, I'm, I'm always a simple guy. The others were like supermodels, you know what I mean? Like yeah, I know. <laughs> successful models and stuff like that. You yeah. know. So I just went there, I was just me. I was real, you know? Yeah. Nothing to the fake about and stuff like that. So yeah. I guess that's what made people like me. Exactly. Yeah. So I got back on the show, I won the they called it the wild card. Yeah. I, I won that, you know. And then I made it to the grand finals. So grand final before I even got to the grand finals, I was uh, my name was very big already. You know, mm. I was everywhere news, news, um, papers, TV interviews, and stuff like that. No, that that life was kind of new to me because I wasn't into that show business. Mm. Thing. And then yeah. uh, I finally like on, on the grand finals, I uh, I won the whole show, like. Like everybody was talking about Nigeria, 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 Nigeria. Nigeria was a big thing, also, you know. Mm. You know, back then I went to the Nigerian embassy, everybody was proud, the ambassador was proud, like, you know. You have to be proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So people were just talking about Nigeria a lot, you know, and I was carrying it well. I, I was always talking about, I was telling people, you know, my country is so beautiful, you have to visit Nigeria and stuff mm. like that. I'm from one of the best countries in the world and stuff like that. So. Mm. You know, I was raising that flag very well, mm. and um, th that was how I got into showbiz proper. After that, I worked I worked with Ibulaga for an extra year. You know, I was doing okay. shows. I was endorsing um, a lot of brands. I, I was was at coffee, the Coffee Brown Coffee. I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got signed with War Balance, uh, the shoe and. Uh, they're still my family until they, you know. Uh, mm. It's like a lot of things, a lot of all this spa, barbershops, and it was just too much, you know. Mm. And, um, after that, I got a call from Universal, Universal Records. Yeah. One of the arrangements I made back in the day, they, they were like, yeah, we like that arrangement, we'd like to offer you a contract. So I had a. Uh, I had then we we formed we kind of formed a band not really a band but like a team the four annoying winners three of us like I was yeah. a brand winner the 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 first one up was from Korea second one up yeah. was from Australia Dwayne Woody yeah. he's kind of popular right now a vlogger and stuff like that so we formed a, a team we called ourselves the four annoying trio right we went to Universal they signed us uh, we made an album you know I wrote the songs the guy look album. This was the guy. Wow. So, yeah. So they were very amazed on how uh, good I could write in Tagalog. Mm. You know. So I was, after that, after a contract expired, I, I stuck around in Universal. I was making songs for some celebrities here. You know, mm. I was writing, I was arranging, I was doing all those things, you know. Outside being mm. an artist, you know, I didn't actually mm. focus on being a solo 
going solo, you know. I was more okay. on the, you know, because that's where the money was. That's mm -hmm. like I said, we chased that. Mm -hmm. Of course, passion, but yeah, that's where yeah. the money was at that point in time. So I, I, I was doing my mall shows and all that. And then after that, I got into ABS-CBN. You know, they called me to host. Uh, I became a host of TFC. It's like the, the, the TV show for okay. foreign for okay. people in diaspora, like Filipinos mm -hmm. everywhere. You know, mm -hmm. um, I got a lot of fans from that too, and um, I did a lot of. I did movies with Baby Sabi, and I I just did a lot of things I don't even remember. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that's uh, I was I was. Started in um the movie with um uh, uh, I love them Jane Tree uh Coco Mart. I made a lot of friends you know like a lot of friends in show business turned out yeah. being, who turned out to be very close to me right now you know mm. and um yeah basically I think that's that's it then after that after my contract with Universal I, I started with my own thing. Okay. I don't know.